Alright, so hey guys, and welcome back. If you guys saw my last video, then you know that I just recently purchased a new straightener. Um, and now I have to find my brush. Because I'm a mess, and I have things all over the place. Uh, so currently I am filming on my Kindle, so it may look like it's a little bit different quality, because obviously it is. I look like I'm sweating right now, but I'm really not. I promise you. Um, anyways, so... I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what the straightener slash curling wand looks like and how it works. So basically I have my little concoction of conditioner, oil, and blow drying lotion here that's got like all types of stuff that's good for your hair. And I also add a little bit of purple dye. Um, it was pinkish red before because I did have red hair, but now obviously I have purple hair. So I add a little bit of purple dye to the pink dye. Um, and now I'm just going to put some of it like all over the place. Um, obviously because my hair is pretty straight right now, I'm not going to be completely straightening my hair. And that means I'm probably not going to be smoothly putting this all over my head because I only do that when it's really curly and really afro-like. By the way, if you notice like constant light change, it's because for some reason, since I have two straighteners plugged into one um, outlet power cord and my lamp plugged into the same one, it will constantly skits. Um, don't know why it's doing that, but yeah. So basically, I just want to show you guys what it looks like. Um, I actually just washed my hair a couple of days ago, so that's kind of why I straightened it. Um, like, three or four days ago. And I'm not going to wash it for, like, at least another week. Because I'm starting that now where I only wash my hair, like, once every two weeks. Just to give it, like, a little bit of a break. A little bit more of a break from shampoo, I should say. And, um... I'm going to try and start the uh, no poo method, maybe, possibly. Um, yes, I am putting like excess amounts because my hair is dry. Um, gonna, did it. I'm not going to completely do away with shampoo. I'm just going to start washing my hair with shampoo like every uh, three to four weeks or so on and so forth, like every other wash, when I wash my hair, I'm gonna use shampoo then. I'm not going to use shampoo every time because number one, I have colored hair, um, and that's why I don't even wash my hair three to four times a week, although I do get showers a lot during the week. Um, but I'm not going to wash my hair three to four times a week, and maybe not even once a week, no like once every other week and I'm not going to actually wash my hair I'm just gonna like condition it because it's so dry uh the roots obviously will get a little bit oily but that's why I have dry shampoo number one and number two even the roots don't get that dry that much um so basically what I'm gonna start doing right now is I am going to uh show you the comparison so I'm gonna take a small section of hair that is that kind of needs to be straightened, because it's a little bit wavy. I don't like my hair necessarily pin straight, so that's why I've been okay with dealing with the cheap straightener that I've had, because um, I don't necessarily want pin straight hair all the time. I just want it almost completely, or as close to pin straight as possible, with a little wave, doesn't hurt. But, um, what was I saying? I want it as close as possible, but I want it to be, like, flat enough that my hair isn't going to go poofy and wavy and all over the place. So, my hair doesn't look that different, it seems, from what it originally was, but it is a little bit different. Um, it's a little bit more dry now, which is kind of why I put excess amounts of the uh, hair concoction that I have over here on it, but it is a little bit straighter. It's not that that much straighter, but it's a little bit straighter. Um, so it's not as straight as I'd like it to be on the first straighten, even though my hair is like almost completely to the point of being straight. 
But now I want to compare that to the, this was the Con Air, I think it's like the Infinity Pro series of 3 quarters of an inch, and this is the Revlon 1 inch, um, what's it called, I forgot to tell you guys in the last video, and now I'm forgetting what it is now, it is the Revlon Nutrifusion, oh, so I did tell you guys last time, it's got macadamia, argan oil, and Moroccan oil in it. Um, and it is not just a flat iron, it is also a curling iron as well. Um, so that's kind of why I had trouble balancing it right then and there. But, so I want to check this out. I have it on 25, and that seems like it's a little bit too hot, so I'm going to take it down to 15. What I like is it flashes on the side so you know when it's reached that heat. Um, and my other one, this one doesn't flash when you turn it down. Uh, this is on 20. It doesn't flash when you turn it down, so you don't absolutely know when the actual heat is, um, has reached the new, uh, lesser of a temperature. So, yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, but, let's check it out with the Revlon straightener, because now I do know. Uh, what the heat is, and let's check how slick this makes my hair. Alright, so that is after one straighten. My hair feels kind of different now. Holy crap, it feels a lot smoother. I mean, granted it has the oil in it, but it feels a lot smoother than when I ran my, uh, Calm Air flat irons through that one piece of hair so that's pretty nice and you want to see the comparison guys I'm not sure if you'll be able to but this is the one piece of hair from the uh, Connor and this is the one piece of hair from the Revlon I'm not sure if you can tell the difference but look at the ends that's like a whole lot smoother. So now I'm just gonna run over, oh my gosh, look at that. I look like a freaking, what do you call it? Um, peacock. There you go. Let me run this over the con air. No comments about that creepy face, guys. And I'm just going to let that sit for a couple of seconds. I probably don't even need it on 15 now. This one I needed it on 20 to even try. But I want to feel how... That feels a lot smoother. I don't know if it's just me, but... The ends don't look as damaged. Which is really weird considering my hair is kind of damaged. So yeah, I think I will definitely be using this straightener a lot more and I will not return it. So now I'm just going to take like a piece on this side and run it through the Revlon. And I don't even need my mirror because my Kindle is so huge that it is a mirror. I heard my hair sizzle a little bit. Don't be scared if you put heat protectant on and then your hair makes like a sizzling noise. That's just letting you know that it's whoa that's right that's just letting your hair know or letting you know that your hair wasn't completely dry so it sizzled a little <coughs> which means it just evaporated the liquid that was on your hair whoa that is a lot straighter it'll probably look even better when I actually have my curly hair and I straighten it but that's just on 15 degrees with one run through. So now I'm going to try it on number one. And I'll do it on my bangs. Just because I think I'm cool like that. And once more, this is going to be another long video. So, I hope you guys are staying tuned. I don't know if you are. But if you are, you can always leave a comment down below. Wow, that is a bad accent and that's also a bad parting which is why I usually flip my hair upside down and then part it but I don't really have time for that ain't nobody got time for that 
Alright, so now what I want to do is try the curling aspect of it. Now, my bangs obviously aren't that long yet, so it might be a little bit tough. Because it is an inch compared to the three quarters. Not sure if you guys can tell the difference, but yeah, there's a little bit of a difference there. Anyways, let's just try it out. Now, this is on number one the curl. Oh wow, that did the same curl as a number 15 on my regular straightener. Oh wow, look at that. That's what I mean. That's why I needed a new straightener. That's on number one. I want to try... Let's go up. Let's go crazy and do number 10. Now for this one, I'm not actually sure what number it's on. I guess whatever number you feed it through, that's the number it ends up on. Um, but I'm just going to take my hair and curl it. Let it sit. And wow, that is a beautiful curl. Let it sit. And release. And that's how I get my usual curl that I've been wearing lately. That's really cool. Can't grab that baby here. Flip it inwards. Now that's what I mean by I don't like to see my hair completely pinned straight. Because it has a little bit of a flicky curl to it, I like it. Like, on this part. Like, even back here sometimes. Just so it gives a little bit more depth and volume. This piece isn't even straight. Let's straighten that buddy out here. And I mean, straighteners do go bad after such a long period. It's understandable, but now I'm just gonna take this hair here and I'm gonna try and curl it. Let's see how good of a curling iron it works. And wow, that is one weird looking curl right there. So, I'm just gonna curl my hair like this. That didn't even work. I'm sorry, guys. Let's try not to twist my hair, and let's just try to curl. Okay, so I guess you probably do have to go clamp it, and then do it like that. Otherwise, it probably won't work. Let's see. And now my hair's stuck. Well, it only curled the end parts. So I'm not sure how well it actually curls, because I'm not necessarily the best of that. But, let's see, it's straight. It's almost straight, but... There we go. Two straightens, and it is completely straight. That is awesome. But yeah, I want to start wearing my bangs sort of like this. Oh wow, with the straightener slash curler, I can probably start wearing my bangs like how I used to wear them now. Because look at that. They all curled up like how I wanted them to. So yeah, look at that. Obviously, I'll probably have to play with my bangs and retrain them. I'm okay with that, because look at that. That's beautiful. I wouldn't mind having to retrain my bangs, because I figured I'd probably have to do this. 
Excuse me. I'd probably have to do that anyway. So, for those of you who stuck with me for this long, thank you for watching my videos, and thank you for making it to the end of this video, because I know it was really long. Um, but, if you like the results as much as I do, you should definitely go out and buy yourself uh, a Revlon Nutrifusion straightener. And what's really cool is the on-off button is like a slider, so all you have to do is slide it to go off and slide it to go on. And I guess it keeps and maintains that heat, which is really awesome. And then, just be my curls around. But yeah, I love the results of this. So, if you liked it too, thumbs up, like, subscribe, and comment if you guys wish to do so. And, as always, keep on rocking with the purple hair. Yeah, I said it. This purple hair is awesome. Alright, so I shall see you in my next video, which I am actually going to do right after this one, because I am just going to make a colossal of videos right now since I have the time. Um, I'm going to shut this one off too. This one, the on-off button is on the inside, which I thought was pretty cool at first. Now it's just like, eh, okay. It's still pretty cool, but, you know. I think I'm gonna like this one a little bit more. Just a little bit. And also, this one comes with heat guards, so when it cools down, all you have to do is press these back on, and they slide right over top of these ridges that are right here. That blue ridge and that blue ridge for these so that way it protects against heat damage uh, to anything really and I mean you could probably leave these on if you wanted to when you're straightening your hair obviously not when you're curling it but hey um so I will see you guys in my next video like I said I'm gonna do a review of a face wash um, can't do an unboxing because I already opened it. This was kind of like an unboxing, t or the last video was. So, until next time, I will see you guys soon. Bye!